Hey guys, this is Jim. Uh, haven't done a video in a while, so I wanted to do kind of a short one. Um, I already shaved my face, and I'm just going to do a couple passes on my head. Hopefully it won't take very long. Uh, I'm using Soap Commander Passion. I borrowed it from Stephanie's Soap Collection. Um, I'm lathering it up with my Sterling Kong and one of my trusty salsa bowls. They work great for uh, lathering. Plus, you see those little posts on the bottom? When you hold on to them, it gives you, it gives you a little something extra to hold on to so that it doesn't slip out of your hand. You can kind of stick your fingers, even when they're wet, you can stick your fingers in between those little legs and it gives you a little bit more purchase. As I said, I already shaved my face, well, my my throat and my uh, cheeks. I always have to go extra careful, especially because today I am shaving with a new razor. I got a uh, Super Speed off of eBay, and the prior owner had uh, coated the uh, base plate for the head, the base of the head, and the handle with some type of... Uh, gun coat or powder coat, something to that effect, but it's in pretty good condition. It's more mild than I'm used to, because I'm used to shaving with my, uh, one of my favorites is my pre-war tech, and I, I honestly think that the pre-war tech is a bit more aggressive, so I had to go a little bit extra careful on my throat. I'm shaving with a, a Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Let silver blue, but uh, overall it's been a good shave so far. Let me get a little bit more water in here. Yeah, you can lather up with these salsa bowls just fine. I buy them at the local Mexican grocery. The lather's just jumping out. It's a nice little bowl, as you can see. This uh, Passion, the Teak Wooden Cardamom, I think this is probably one of my favorite Soap Commander scents. It's just very it's woody and spice, and, and, it, and it just has a more sophisticated smell to it when compared to like uh, uh, Courage, you know, it just smells like cologne, or the other ones, you know, you have a little lime and lime and uh, I don't remember all the names. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, you've got your kind of two, two scent profiles, but I know there's more in here than just teak wood and cardamom. There has to be. I'll have to look it up later. But yeah, this is, I think this might be my favorite Soap Commander scent so far that I've tried. I haven't tried the Spice, and I haven't tried the Bay Rum, so those are still... In the works, I'll pick those up soon. Jeez, it is just so commander. I'm sure everyone is more than aware of what's going on with the Cybert family and Luke, and best wishes to them, and positive thoughts, and those that pray, I'm sure, are praying for them. And, but in the meantime, we just hope that they, uh, get everything sorted out and get Luke back on, back home and recuperated and get him going again in life. Because an injury like this, you know, uh, car accidents, traumatic things like this, it just feels like your life comes to a screeching halt. And all your plans get put on hold if you're lucky. So, it's a, it's a traumatic thing, but... From what I keep hearing, from what we all keep hearing from Terry, it's, uh, he's doing better every day, so that's good. This is just going to be a couple passes on my head. Like I said, I already did my face. 
trimmed up my beard and such. I think I might have to go with sharper blades in this uh, super speed. This is a, it's a, there's no date codes on it, so it's early. But it is uh, mild, big time mild. I think it, it's probably more mild than my post-war tech, American tech, or U.S. tech. And that's saying something, because that's a pretty mild razor. But, and I'm not sure, I bought another one as well. I got two on eBay this last week. I got a red tip. Some of you might have seen this on the groups. It's in really, really good condition. When I got it, it was not. It was all gooped up and soap scum caked on and some kind of weird yellow greasy but kind of tacky uh, something or other had been spilled on it. But I put some scrubbing bubbles on it a couple times and went at it with a uh, nylon brush. And it cleaned up just fine. And both of these razors I got off of eBay. This one was a little over 20 with shipping and the red tip was between 30 and 35 with shipping. It's in really really good condition. Almost. Just looks like someone maybe used it for a week or two and then just threw it in a drawer. So I lucked out on both of them. There's a little bit of a... I shave around my ears, around the back and stuff. There's a little bit of an overhang on these, both of them, at, oh, well, not so much, I don't think on the red tip. Ba there's barely any on the red tip, but the super speed, this regular super speed, there's a little bit more overhang, so I gotta be careful. I think I'm going to use sharper razors, or sharper, I'm sorry, sharper blades in this, uh, these super speeds. Yeah, the red tip was not as aggressive as I expected. I'm used to using, uh, the pre-war tech. Plus, it feels on the pre-war tech when compared to the super speeds, almost like the pre-war tech holds the blades a little bit more securely. It's just a more solid feel to it. I don't know what that is, but I noticed it. But once you find your blade angle, you're pretty much good to go. They shave well. Very mild. So it's just a matter of finding the right blade. I think I might go sharper. I'll throw a. This is a Gillette Silver Blue, so I'll throw like a. I could throw like a feather in here, I think, and be comfortable. I've got another salsa bowl down in the sink full of water that I dump out periodically. That way I don't have to fill the sink and, uh, you know, keeps everything cleaner.
I don't know who was out there watching, but we got two. I live in Southern California, and we have two shave events coming up in the next few weeks. We've got Shave Con down in San Diego, which I'm going to be down in San Diego that weekend because it's Earth Day weekend, and the family and I always go down there to run around Balboa Park for Earth Day. But Saturday, we're going to go down early. We usually go down early so, you know, the kids can go to the zoo or the beach or the wild animal park or whatever they want to do. And, uh, if all goes as planned, my friend Rich and I are going to swing by ShaveCon Saturday afternoon to see what all the hoopla is about. And, uh, if everything works out, I got a, got a lead on some tickets, ten dollars for just, uh, Saturday. So, that'll be good. Just Saturday afternoon. I think I nicked the back of my head just now. Must have been a, yeah. Must have been a pimple or something. Can't really see it. Uh, yeah, looks like an ingrown hair. Or a pimple. Or not an ingrown hair, but like just a little pimple. Not much. We got it pretty good. Let me do another pass real quick. Just reinvigorate it a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Just a little dip on the brush tips. Just to put a little bit more life into it. Well, I hope you guys' shaves are going well. As I said, I got those two new razors and I've been trying them out the last few days. I just got them this week. The red tip, as I said, was much more mild than I expected it to be, considering what some people say. But then again, we've got an R41 in the house that I've shaved with quite a few times, so. It's not, uh, it's not that bad. going on with this razor. It does not feel... I'm going to have to get used to this. It is not aggressive. I don't want to do more than two passes right now. But, uh... I think either which way I'm not going to. I'm just going to... After the second pass, I'm just going to live with it. However it turns out. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta look in the mirror, so hopefully this doesn't get blocked too much.
Oh, that's everything. Yeah. The back of my head grows at such a funny angle. I've got to go like, like southwest to northeast, kind of a, at a on the back of my head like that. So it it's a bit annoying, but yeah, it's the way it is. So I gotta. Just gotta deal with it. Everyone's got their funny ways that their beard grows or their hair grows. I got cowlicks in the back of my head. And even though I've got my bald spot back there, it's still what's there on the outside of where the cowlick was, like right here, it all still grows like that. It grows in such a funny pattern. Good. Not bad. Feels good. Quick two pass, a little bit of touch up. It's about how long it takes me for me to shave my head. The long part of these videos is me trying to deal with my throat and like just doing a couple passes on my cheeks, a little north south on my cheeks. But my throat is sensitive and it's always a hassle to deal with. Any shaving, it's hard not to get irritation, especially now I'm trying out a new razor. And I tried not to push it too hard. spot back there. I think I'm going to put some styptic on it just for expediency. I bought this at, uh, got this at uh, Walmart. I think it was, it was just a couple bucks. Big styptic pencil. Big as your finger. Uh, 
It's a panade or cloven. <laughs> Got it. Ugh. Got it blind. I don't have a lot of surfaces in this bathroom, so right now the camera on my phone is actually in the cabinet on one of the shelves. But it works. It works pretty well. Okay. I'm going to take it easy today. I'm going to use some Lucky Tiger for my post shave. Love this stuff. I like I like my Thayers, but sometimes that Lucky Tiger is just perfect. Ugh. Feels so good. Even though there's no menthol in it. It's just got a nice citrusy cooling type of feel to it. Must be all the good ingredients in it that are so good for your skin. So I guess it's not so much cooling but soothing. And I'm going to follow that Lucky Tiger up with some Sub Commander Passion Balm. Teak wood and cardamom. I expect the lotion there, the aftershave balm, is probably going to smell a bit stronger than the soap. Let's see. I don't know if they separate, but whenever I have balms like this in a container, I always like to give it a good shake, just in case. It doesn't take much. I'm doing my head and my face. That's all I'm using. This stuff little goes a long way. Mm. Woo. Menthol. So this has oh yeah, teak wood and cardamom and menthol added. Very good. I think I might need, if I'm going to go try to get a close shave, I might need a little, might need something a little bit more, either a sharper blade, go for a really sharp blade, or I might just have to use that super speed on my head, because it is not, it's not aggressive enough to avoid too much irritation. It's just some redness. It'll be gone soon. I've got your typical uh, freckled fair skin, sensitive skin, so it's hard to get a close shave with no irritation whatsoever. But it's part of the journey, I suppose. So, this is what I used. Again, I'll recap. I feel good. I smell really good. This stuff is just... Yeah, the, the, the balm is, is much more strong as far as the the scent ingredients go, plus the menthol is kicking in. Um, I use the uh, Soap Commander Passion, mm. teak wood and cardamom, and this is definitely in the top for my Soap Commander soaps that I've tried. So this is Stephanie's, but she she says you know you use her soaps. She uses my soaps. I use hers. We trade off occasionally. And and that smells really, really good. And for my razor and blade, I used, again, this new Super Speed that I bought off of eBay. It was pretty cheap, around 20 bucks. And uh, a Gillette Silver Blue. 
and my brush was my uh I'll rinse it a little bit. My Gillette Sterling or Gillette Sterling. My Sterling Kong. Sorry, I looked right at that little piece of paper right before I said Sterling, and so I said Gillette Sterling. Yeah. My Sterling Kong. I need to do another order to Sterling soaps too. Rod come out with some new scents that really caught my eye. So, but I'm, I'm on a I'm on a spending break until Big Shave West. Well, Shave Con. But considering I'm going to be down in San Diego for basically for the kids, I'm not going to go and blow a bunch of money that weekend. I just want to go to Shave Con just to go to the event and see what it's all about. But then the weekend after that is Big Shave West, which I'm really excited about. And I'm taking, I'm taking three friends. Well, well, no, not really three friends. Stephanie's coming, and uh, her younger brother, her middle brother, but he's a wet shaver too. We got him into it, and then uh, Stephanie, of course, is a wet shaver, and then uh, my friend Richard, uh, old Navy buddy. We went to college together, and. Uh, He's got a beard, but he's going as well. And uh, then we might have two other people that live close to Pasadena meet us there. So it's looking to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the last time we were down there was uh, Grand Shave Lodge. So we're looking forward to it. And that's in a few weeks. So I hope if you're watching and you're going to be there, uh, I'll see you. Say hi. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.